Hey everybody, Enthusiast420 here and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to connect your ASUS Transformer TF300T tablet PC to your Nintendo Wiimote. This is going to give you the ability to use your Wiimote as a game controller to play games on your tablet rather than having to use the system's built-in accelerometer and on-screen controls. I will definitely let you know I've played with this a little bit and it is a lot of fun. Now throughout the demonstration I'm going to be outputting video from my tablet over to a 20 inch flat panel monitor here just so that you guys can see everything a lot better. And to get this done right you're going to need three things. First you're going to need yourself an app from the Play Store, second a little bit of configuration and lastly you're going to definitely need to have yourself a Nintendo Wiimote. Now let's go ahead and get started. First you want to go over here to your Play Store, you're going to grab that app I was just talking about. It's called Wiimote Controller. It should pop up in the top of your search results there on the Play Store. You're going to want to go ahead and install it. I have already installed it. I don't want to uninstall it and put it back in again. So you go ahead and take care of that. And once you're finished with that, the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pop on your Bluetooth here because the Wiimotes actually sync through Bluetooth and without Bluetooth on there is no connection between the devices. So when you got your Bluetooth all taken care of, the next thing you're going to want to do is hop on over to that Wiimote controller app that we just picked up off the Play Store. And you're going to need to do two things inside of here. First, you're going to want to initialize and connect. Second, you're going to want to select Wii Controller IME. Now with the initialize and connect, that is actually the synchronization process. And I've actually seen other videos where they uh, would take the Wii out of the jacket, open the battery compartment, and use the red sync button. You can actually do that and it will work just fine. But I'll tell you, I personally like to leave my uh, Wiimote inside the jacket. And I wanted to try to find an alternative method. And I did look around and I found that you can actually hold the one and two keys while it's searching for the Wiimote and it will do the same procedure. It will sync no problem. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to initialize and connect right now. It says searching. I'm holding down one and two on the Wiimote and it's going to find me as player one and I believe that you can synchronize up to about four Wiimotes to this simultaneously. Um, don't quote me on that, but I do believe that is that is the the truth there. I'm not sure though. But as you can see, we have it initialized, it searched, it found the Wiimote connecting, it connected, we got a setting of LEDs, it pulled the data, it picked up a couple of keystrokes for me pushing one and two, and then as you see is we do have a nunchuck plugged in. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit some keystrokes and uh, you're going to see them actually register on the uh, app here. I'm hitting buttons. It is definitely registering and running numbers on the screen, so it is picking up all my keystrokes. We are good to go. Love it. All right, now the second thing you needed to do in this app is you actually had to go select your Wii Controller IME. All right? Now, with that, uh, you need to change this because by default you are using your ASUS keyboard as an input. You need to cycle over to your Wii Controller IME input, and we're going to go ahead and select that. And if you want to make sure it's there, it is. Good deal. And now, after that, you are completely connected. This controller is ready to go and play. I am player one, ready to go. Now through demonstrations, I've seen people a lot of times use the emulators, you know, with the Super Mario World, the standard stuff. Uh, that's definitely cool. I don't doubt I won't be getting into that. I'll probably be messing with it too. But I was definitely curious to see if some of the Android games had the capability to do it the right way. And I was really curious if Riptide GP worked. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you because it does work. And it works very, very well. Um, I definitely have a lot of fun with this. I can get tied into it for well over a half an hour and you know, not even know where the time went. But what I'm going to do here is uh, obviously you do need to map your keys prior to playing just like you would do on a PC game. And uh, this is the same, same thing here. So what's nothing new there? But uh, I already have it mapped. You can set them as you wish. They're single and dual analog stick configurations. Obviously, I only have a nunchuck, so I'm using a single stick. You can use the dual stick if you plug in your Wii Classic controller, which is pretty cool. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and hit the, uh, I guess they went into a demo. So now I'm here at the home screen. I am going to select. And as you see, I'm using my Wiimote. And I'm going left, right, right. And I'm going to go ahead and select race now. And we're just going to pick 250cc because I'm going to be racing through a camera here. And uh, let's see, uh, launch pad, that looks great. Let's do launch pad. And I'm going to be hammerhead. Um, and basically with this, uh, you just map your keys, you're good to go. You're only going to have to do it once. And I'm hitting the A button now. 
and I'm steering left and all. You know, it's, it works great. I've, I absolutely love it. Now, uh, from what I have seen with the Tegra 3 devices, I've seen that uh, you can use the Wiimote controllers, you can use PS3 controllers, Xbox 360, and uh, even heard some rumors of Logitech PC game controllers being used. I uh, looked up the 360 and noticed that the gentleman was using a 360 wired controller through the uh, expandable docking station that you can buy on the USB port and I obviously don't have that right now so I was trying to see what else I could do uh, I mean and they said it didn't work other than a USB cord because uh, the 360 control uses a uh, what is it called RF transmitter and I'm not sure I didn't really look up the PS3 controller but I would assume it's somewhat similar but again don't quote me on that correct me if I'm wrong in the comments please um, I did keep looking. I found that you can use this app called Wiimote Controller. It is actually said to work uh, for other Android devices too. And um, I tried it on a couple others. I hear some rumors about some Samsung devices having issues. I uh, tried it on an Elocity A7 Plus uh, Tegra 2 tablet and it definitely it didn't work on that. But uh, when I went and tried to write on my transformer here, the TF300T, it worked like without a hitch. It's awesome. It's not a problem. I found the remote right away. No issues. And um, I can say that, uh, you know, if you have any questions at all, uh, if you get stuck with this, um, one thing, make sure that you do have your Wii controller IME set as your input because without that, you're going to be defaulting to your keyboard input and it's not going to recognize your keystrokes when you're trying to map keys in the games. So um, other than that, um, the last thing I do need to show you here, as you can see, you know, I'm getting stuck in the race already. I'm already on lap two. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to quit. And uh, we're going to go back here to the main menu. And I'm going to exit out of the game now. The last thing I need to show you here, um, it is important because uh, I didn't see it in the other videos, but I definitely think it's vital for people to, you know, learn this. If you don't want to waste your batteries, that is. Um, Basically, when you're done, this was never going to shut off. As long as you got your Bluetooth on your tablet on, it's going to keep this guy linked. This is player one. It ain't going nowhere. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Bluetooth, and all I'm going to do is shut it off. And as soon as I do, the controller is going to shut off, which is pretty cool. Off. Turning off Bluetooth. Beautiful. I hit the wrong button at first. I'm sorry. But either way, we got the, uh, the whole configuration set up here. You got your app. Every time you need to turn it on, all you got to do is to go into the Wii controller um, IME here, the, the program, and actually set your input and sync it real quick with holding the one and two keys. So, uh, and the other thing is when you do turn off your controller, you turn off Bluetooth, the controller is off. The last thing you need to remember is you need to go to Wii controller IME here, and you need to change it back from Wii controller IME to ASUS keyboard and then after you do that you're good to go you're back to using your keyboard you go into your browser and hit your address bar here there's your keyboard back going if you don't change that uh, IME input uh, to ASUS keyboard you're not going to be able to use your keyboard at all so just keep that in mind um, other than that if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them at the bottom suggestions for new videos always open to them uh, don't be afraid to subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. I love it all. I've been having a lot of fun with this. And uh, again, I'm going to keep thinking of new things I can do. And I will keep you guys updated. And I appreciate you for watching. Thank you.